so today we're going to be painting this if you've been checking my instagram tiktok etc you would have seen this made it's basically kit bash from uh blah, 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 killer can kit that's it the killer can kit and uh, an admex sprue that i had and all the little pipes and that are coming from it's always messing about again so yeah we're going to be painting this today so I'm going to set my airbrush up, get a little station going, and we'll crack on. Awesome. So we're going to use airbrush medium, a blue-grey, and a black primer. I'm taking you through this slow, but obviously it's sped up, because otherwise you'd be watching the same thing for hours on end. So I'll put a couple of drops of the airbrush medium in, and then one drop of the blue, one drop of the black. I tested it out first. As you can see, it's kind of a charcoal-y colour. So I'm just trying to get that on most of the model, avoiding the lowest recesses where possible. So I'm just going round, picking all the raised edges out, just trying to get like an 80% coverage on. I'm not being too neat at this point. Because it doesn't really matter, and I don't really care. But yeah, it looks good. So then I go in with some more black, but this time I'm targeting the bottoms of all the panels and the underneath of the model to create shadow. Because I want the armour to look black but not be black, if that makes sense. It'll make sense when you see it at the end. It'll make sense. So yeah, I just picked up the black going round. There, I show you. It's more black now. So we go around, we go around the base, we get the underneath of the models, all the shadows, the bottoms of the armour panels. You'll see in a sec. There we go, better picture there. I'm terrible at voiceovers, but yeah, it is what it is. So I'll just carry on picking out all the middles of the panels, bottoms of the panels, trying to leave some highlights in. As you can see, Bits that are going to be painted over are just blasted black again. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Now what I'm doing is I'm highlighting all the edges with a, a dry brush. So I just come back in with pure blue-grey. Highlighting all the edges. Getting some light back into the panels. Now I intentionally make the highlights and some of the flat areas bright on purpose. But you'll see that in the next step. So I'll just carry on going round. Not being too heavy. Trying to keep it light. But trying to get good coverage at the same time. It's a delicate balance. So we'll keep doing that. Keep going. Flicking backwards and forwards. Always make sure to test it first. There we go. Nice dry brush. Next what I do is I come in with some contrast black templar through the airbrush and I water it down so it's not quite black anymore. It's more of a grey green tone. You notice that when you water black templar down it goes green. Which is fine, it's fine, it's good. But yeah, I'll just blast this all over the model. Put a bit more medium in it to make it thinner. This just gets blasted everywhere. And then what I, what you see what I'm doing now. Is I use the airbrush with just the air. Now what that does is that pushes it further down the model. So all the high, the high areas or the raised areas. Will be the lighter colour. And all the darker areas. Will be the darker colour. As you can see. It's quite easy to achieve and it's fast. So I may have gone ahead and done a couple of steps off camera. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I did all the silver highlights and I had a little go at OSL. It's half done, but yeah, the idea is there. And do need to add some of that and then 
back in with the white and the green. But I just thought, I'll give it a go while it's drying. Don't look too bad. Needs more green though. But I will be putting the camera back down and carrying on painting so you can see the rest, hopefully. Cool. Right, so I've got my washing machine on, so I'm sorry for the noise. But this is the selection of colours I'm going to be finishing off the detail with. So the pipes, gold bits, patterns, checks, wires, panels, base, the Space Marine, all that needs finishing. But I'm not going to video it all because it'll be too long and it's boring just watching my hand do this for hours. So I'm going to get it painted and show you the final result. Let's get it done. Here is the end result. He's now finished. Still a bit tacky in places, but he's done. We'll take you around, tell you what I did. Uh, yeah, I'll start with the snow. It's just a snow flock from uh, Army Painter, I think it was. Just put on with a bit of white glue. Easy does it. Bit of blood for the blood god. Painted as an ultramarine because they're crap. That's fact, not an opinion. Yeah, just did some little designs. Uh, the eyes and like the glowy bits are uh, Warpstone Glow, I think it's called. Warpstone Summit, whatever it is. Bit of snow here and there. Some designs. I finished the OSL. Turned out pretty nice. I'm actually really happy with it. Little beaten panel on the back. I tried to keep it as black as I could, but just add points of interest. The check was done with a micron pen, which is in another video on my TikTok. If you'd like a link to my TikTok, let me know and I'll put it in the comments. Big hook. I'm not sure whether I like that or not, but we'll see how it dries because it's not fully dry yet. I might have to add to that. But there he is. Skin all. I can't, yeah, you, there we go. Like distorted and stretched over the mask. So very nice. But he needs a name. So anyone has any suggestions for a name? Put that in the comments. Next time we'll be painting some killer cans. I think I'm going to paint one next week, one the week after and one the week after. But we'll see. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you like the war boss. Thanks for watching. Peace.